This is Comparisons Part 2. Now, let me say, if you've not yet watched Comparisons Part 1, please do so. That'll get you warmed up and ready for this clip, okay? Now, I'm going to read each of these sentences in English, then Spanish, and clap. And after I clap, I'd like you to repeat just the Spanish sentence with me, okay? Here we go. Number one, you are older than my uncle. Tu eres mayor que mi tío. Tu eres mayor que mi tío. Number two, I am younger than Jose. Yo soy menor que Jose. Yo soy menor que Jose. Number three, he is better than the girls. Él es mejor que las chicas. Él es mejor que las chicas. And finally, number four, Spanish is worse than math. El español es peor que las matemáticas. <clears throat> El español es peor que las matemáticas. Now, I want you to notice that all four of these words end in R. Mayor, menor, mejor, peor. Now, these are what I call lizard words. <clears throat> Everybody say lizard, lizard. Now, if a word ends in L, Z, R, or D, the very last vowel gets stressed. Now, if you're confused when I say lizard words, type in lizard and there's a clip that'll explain that. All right. Now, how are we going to remember that mayor is older? Well, it looks like the word mayor. Everybody say mayor, mayor. Now, here's a chant for you. The mayor is older than I am. The mayor is older than I am. So, mayor is older. Now, Mr. O, I thought K had an accent. Be careful. K with an accent means what? Like, K hora es. What time is it? K dia es hoy. What day is today? K without an accent means than or that. We learned the first week of school in Spanish 1. A, E, I, O, U, un burro sabe más que tú. So K means then, older than, younger than, better than, worse than. All right, I am younger than Jose. How are we going to remember that menor is younger? Well, a minor is someone who's younger than 21. A minor is someone who's younger than 21. So menor is younger. Okay, so I am younger than Jose. And notice, you expect in Spanish to stress the next to last vowel. Okay, but this accent mark says, hey, don't say Jose. Don't stress the next to last vowel. Stress me. Say Jose. Okay, now, mejor is better or best. Well, Mr. Holt, does mejor mean better or best? It means both. Okay, so um, for me, teaching has been a really good job. So listen and repeat. For me, this is the best job I've ever had. Everybody, for me, this is the best job I've ever had. Or for me, teaching is a better job than all the others. For me, teaching is a better job than all the others. So mejor means better or best. So he is better than the girls. And finally, Spanish is worse than math. Ho, 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 no. <laughs> Just kidding. Some people think so. I hear that quite a bit, actually. Um, in Spanish, we say, Sp in English, we say Spanish is worse than math. In Spanish, we say the Spanish is worse than the math. Spanish people love sticking in the word the. We say it's four o'clock. They say they are the four. We say I take tests on Fridays. In Spanish, you say we take tests the Fridays. Spanish people love the word the, which is why in Spanish, there are four words for the, and in English, we just have one. So, the Spanish is worse than the math. Now, how are we going to remember that peor is worse? Well, you borrow money from a loan shark. Don't do that. That's bad. He gives you a hundred bucks and says, now, in two weeks, you have to pay me $200. Well, he comes back two weeks later and you don't have the $200. You just have $130. So he beats you up and he says, you better pay or the next beating will be even worse. You better pay, see the word pay, pay, or the next beating will be even worse. So, payor is worse, worse is payor. Payor is worse, worse is payor. And again, in Spanish, we expect to stress the next to last vowel. But listen to this, when, listen to math when we stress the next to last vowel. Matematicas. So that accent mark says, hey, don't stress the next to last vowel. Don't say matematicas, say matematicas. All right, this has been Comparisons Part 2.